Good evening, Eagle Nick Audits. And this officer just said something to them about being parked in the fire lane. I'm going to tell her she needs to tell them. Good job, ma'am. Number 78. She left her car running, though. See what I said about parking in the fire lane? Look, you there left that laptop on too. Left her running. Number 78. But she did get on to him about parking in that fire lane. Boy, her car looks a little bit rough there. Look, see, they need a sign right here saying no parking here because, you know, there's a fire hydrant. That looks a little weird now. If the fire lane is over here, the fire hydrant is right here. That'd be a little weird if they had to get right here in this lane, see? Because this lane will be where the hose would have to come across. This is Eagle Nick Audits. I am Eagle Nick. And I'm out. Well, I'm going to walk back up here and let see where that police officer went. Let's see if we can see how long she's in the store leaving her car running. Let's we'll see how long she leaves her car running, sitting here running while she did. I didn't even really see what she was carrying inside to the Walmart. But she did run that car off out of this fire lane. And I wonder if it had been one of uh, the thin blue line gang. Or a more well-to-do car. That was an older, run-down car. That wasn't a brand-new, newer model car. She still might have said something, but we don't know that for sure because it was an older model car. If it had been something like that, she might not have said that, but she still might have. I've been recording for three minutes and 50 seconds. She just had pulled up. So that's a pretty long trip to go into Walmart and leave your vehicle running. I would have tried the door to see if it's unlocked, but I'm not a thief, but a thief could. A thief could have a Slim Jim and get inside of it like they steal cars. Coming up on four and a half minutes. This is Eagle Nick Audits, and I'm out.